Justin, from the moment our paths crossed, you've surprised me, amused me, loved me, captivated me, and challenged me in a way I never knew possible. I've fallen in love with you again and again, countless times, without reservation, since I was 16. And I still can't believe that today I get to marry my best friend, my person, and the love of my life. So today I promise to be true to you, to uplift you, to support you, to frustrate and challenge you, especially when it comes to sports, and most importantly, to share with you all the beautiful moments in life. I look forward to all of them, the mundane and the breathtaking. No matter what trials we encounter together or how much time has passed, I know that our love will never fade, that we will always find strength in one another, and that we will continue to grow together, side by side. From past trials and triumphs, I promise to build a solid foundation with you, but also I promise to love you with the excitement and fearlessness I had when we were 16. I believe in the truth that we are, and I will love you forever. Justin, I thank the Lord for you every day, and I promise to continue to thank Him for the rest of our lives. Sarah, I don't even know how to begin and explain the amount of love I have for you. From the moment I met you in those camo cargo shorts, I knew you were special. My love for you has grown exponentially since 10th grade, and little did I know, I began my vows to you. I vowed to treat you better than anyone had before. I vowed to make sure our relationship was real and honest. I vowed to love you, but most importantly, I vowed to lead us towards Christ. And during that walk with Christ and watching our relationship blossom, I've been given new vows as we enter this time in our lives. I vow to love you, Sarah, my wife. I vow to encourage you, cherish you, push you to new heights and support you in everything you do. I vow to stand by your side through thick and thin, the ups and downs, and the in-betweens. I vow to protect you and our family and do everything it takes to give you the life you desire. And yet one vow remains the same since 10th grade. I vow to lead us to Christ. Ephesians 5.25 says, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. I would not be the man I am today if I hadn't met you. The only gift I can fathom giving you is a promise from our Lord and Savior for everlasting life. I love you, Sarah, and if you're as ready as I am, let's do this.